Hey guys, you ever just wish you were bigger, stronger, more masculine, more manly? You just exude testosterone wherever you go. All the other guys want to be you. All the girls want to be with you. Well, fear not, because I have the answer to your problems. You have to lift weights. And to get the biggest and the strongest and the most macho, you have to know the most chad lift there is. And that is the deadlift. What's happening guys, Ray here again with the Club Global, teaching men around the world to be men of the world. And today we're talking about everyone's favorite lift all of a sudden, the deadlift. With the sudden surge of popularity of CrossFit and powerlifting and other strength related sports, the deadlift has gotten a lot of attention. And it should. It's the most macho lift, right? You're picking up the heaviest thing you can off the ground using your whole body. And that's cool. The deadlift is a cool lift too because it's pretty practical. You're picking up stuff off the ground, which you do in your everyday life, and it's a full body exercise, and I love a full body exercise. Problem is, a lot of folks doing it aren't doing it right, despite the fact that it's a pretty simple lift in nature. You're just picking up a weight off the ground. There's some pretty intricate techniques involved in doing it. So in this video, we're gonna explain as simply as we can the steps to properly perform the deadlift. Let's go. Now to clarify for all you technique nerds out there, today we're talking about the conventional deadlift. Not that bullshit sumo stance stuff you see fit chicks doing on Instagram. Conventional, all right? It's a bigger range of motion. I think it requires more muscle in your posterior chain. So that's what we're talking about. Now I am a big advocate of the Mark Ripito starting strength five step deadlift setup. It's very simple. It accounts for any differences in people's physiology, no matter how your body is shaped, how your femurs versus your, how tall your torso is versus any of that stuff, how long your arms are, is universal for everybody of any body shape. So that's what we're teaching. Now the ground rules for this, never move the bar until you are going to pull the bar. You're not moving the bar when you go to grab it. You're not moving the bar when you're, when you're getting into position. None of that. The bar does not move until you are ready to pull it up from the ground. Bar stays still anytime besides that. So first step is step up to the bar. All right. You got to make sure that your bar is over the middle of your foot. All right. You don't want the bar being over your toes. You don't want your shins touching the bar when you step up to it. You want it over the middle of your foot. Basically, if you look down at your shoes, the bar is gonna be cutting off where your shoelaces are tied. And that is midfoot, roughly about an inch or so from your shins. Now you're gonna want your toes pointed slightly outward, say at like roughly a 30 degree angle. Uh, how wide should you stand? Well, you want to stand wide enough so that when you get down at the position, you got room for your belly to get in there and you can set into your hips. So your stance is going to look a little different based on how big or small you are. But typically, you kind of want to get as narrow a stance as you can. All right, now that you have the bar over the middle of your foot, you have your, your width, your stance width, your toes are pointed slightly outwards at like a 30 degree angle or so. Next, you're going to grab the bar. You're just going to simply bend over and put your hands where you want to grip the bar. You're not going to move the bar. You're not going to be setting your back or your hips or any other weird kind of shit like that. You're just putting your hands where you want to grip the bar. How wide should you grip the bar? Well, you want your arms to be as straight up and down as possible while still being able to clear your knees and your legs with your hands. You're not going to be bumping your, your arms into your legs as you pull the lift. All right, this will get you at the best mechanical advantage to perform this particular movement. And you're also gonna shorten the range of motion as much as you can by keeping your arms as straight up and down throughout the lift as you can. Now you've got your stance, you've got your grip on the bar. Now you're gonna bring your shins to the bar. All right, you're not gonna bring the bar to your shins. You're not moving the bar until you're pulling the bar off the ground. You're gonna bring your shins to the bar. The way you do this is you're gonna Lower your hips, all right? You're gonna lower your ass down 
to bring your shins forward. Once your shins touch the bar, that's your starting position. That's where your hips are going to be from the start, and you're good to go there. Now you got your shins to the bar, your hips are in place, all right? You're ready to go. The next step is get a really big arch in your back like a scared cat, and then just snake the weight up. You want to feel every vertebrae popping on the way up. Now you got your stance, you got your grip, you got your hips in place, your shins are touching the bar. The last step before you pull the bar off the ground is you are going to arch your back, or another cue is pull your chest up, all right? This is the part of the lift that a lot of folks get confused on. Folks seem to think that the deadlift is a back movement. You're lifting with your back. Not really. You're lifting with your hips, all right? You're lifting with your posterior chain, all right, using your legs. Those are the prime movers in this lift. Your back is what stabilizes the weight. Your back holds the weight. That's where the back comes into this lift. It is the static muscle that you tighten and that holds the weight throughout the entire lift. You want your shoulder blades tightened together. You want your chest puffed out throughout the whole movement. That is the part where your back comes into play. So that is step four of the lift. You are going to pull your back up tight, chest up, and then you are ready to pull. And now step five, the last step. You got your stance, you got your grip, you got your hips in place, you got your back tightened, your chest is up. Now the last step is you drag the bar up your legs. You want the bar to be in full contact with your legs, and your body the whole time. All right, if that bar drifts out in front of you, if you can see light between the bar and your legs, you are at a mechanical disadvantage. The weight is in front of your center of gravity. Remember in the previous video about the squat, we talked about keeping the bar over the center of gravity of your body the whole time? Deadlift is the same way. You want that bar to be over the center of your body as best as you can manage it. Now, deadlift is not perfect in that way because the weight is technically in front of you. You're holding the weight in front of your legs as opposed to a squat where the weight is on your shoulders and is over the middle of your body the whole time. Deadlift is in front of your body, so you're at a mechanical disadvantage. So do the best you can to keep it over the center of your gravity the best you can. The way you do that is keep the bar against your body. Keep the bar against your shins all the way up, against your thighs once it get past your knees, and then a strong lockout. You're going to tighten your butt cheeks when you pull the bar to the top. And that's the second most common mistake that folks make performing the deadlift, is when they pull the bar to the top, they hyperextend their lower back to the bar to lock it out. That's not what you do. You tighten your butt cheeks, all right? That's how you lock out the deadlift, all right? Your lower back is not involved in this at all. It's all your glutes, all right? You're tightening your butt cheeks like you're in prison and you're trying to say, no one's getting in here. And man, that's it. That's the five-step deadlift setup, all right? Simple as that. You get your stance, bar over midfoot, right? You get your grip just outside your legs, all right? Then you set your hips into position by bringing your shins to the bar, and then you tighten your back, pull your chest up, and then you drag the bar up your legs, tighten your butt cheeks to the top to complete the lift. And then to bring the weight back down is just an exact reversal of that. You slide the bar down your thighs and down your shins, and it's back in the starting position. Simple as that, man. You'll be gripping and ripping in no time. If you just follow these five simple steps and you will get stronger, you won't hurt yourself, you'll be right as rain. And with that, this is Ray signing out.